Hi, I'm Rosa. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show you a Costco grocery haul and a couple nights of dinner. I went to Costco today and here's a quick grocery haul. We got two rotisserie chickens, five um, bags of carrots and they're six pound bags, a bag of navel oranges, some raspberries. They're not organic, but they were uh, um, they were selling for two ninety nine. I thought that was a good price, really good price actually. Some arugula, the mini red velvet cakes, which are delicious. We quartered them up. A box of corn, a box of the Kirkland cheese fruit and nut packs, some cottage cheese, some Gruyere cheese. The readers were on sale for thirteen ninety nine, so we got two packs of those for my husband some wine, a Fitbit because my husband lost his. Um, they had these belt packs or belt bags for $15, which I thought was a good price. And I picked up two shirts to see how they fit. And if they don't fit, I'm gonna take them back. And that's my Costco haul. And of course my dog drinking water in the background. One more item I picked up at Costco and forgot to include was some celery. I am in the midst of making dinner and it's Taco Tuesday. It's almost done, so I'm just gonna show you what we're having. Here's what we're having. I have browned up the taco meat. We have some taco shells. I made some restaurant style homemade salsa. We're gonna have some corn on the side. We got a box from a family member from American Spoon and they had some different salsas and this was one of them. It's a smoky corn salsa. So we opened that one, we're going to try it. I didn't know if we'd like it, so I made my homemade one. And I also made some yellow rice. This, I make in the microwave. This is an old Pampered Chef steaming pot and you can make rice in it. So if you have one of these, I don't think they sell them anymore, but if you have one of these, you can totally make rice in it and it comes out good. But we have some yellow rice to go with it. So I'm going to assemble my tacos and put them in the oven to crisp, crisp them up. Oh, and if you wanna know how to make rice in this, you add your water a little bit less than normal, your rice, your salt, and your olive oil, or in this case, it's just a seasoning mix of yellow rice that you just need to add water and oil to. And you cook it on regular um, temperature in the microwave for, depending on your microwave, five minutes, eight minutes. I have a small microwave, so I do it for eight minutes. This is the rice that I made. And then after eight minutes, you put the lid, this plastic lid and the other lid on, uh, again, depending on your microwave, it's a, if it's a large microwave or a, a heavy duty one, you do half um, temperature for about 12 or 13 minutes. You have to see how your microwave does. I have a small microwave that doesn't have a lot of power. So it goes in for um, about 17 or 18 minutes at eight uh, power and makes rice. I'm only making a few at a time because not everyone is in for dinner.
These are gonna go in the oven to crisp up and we are going to have avocado with it as well. Here it is, here's what's for dinner. Tacos, avocado salsa, rice, and there's corn down there. For dinner tonight, I am veering off of my menu plan and making a um, leftover makeover. So I have leftover taco meat from Taco Tuesday. I'm going to boil some pasta, add some marinara sauce, some Italian seasoning, and make it into some kind of tasty casserole. Usually when I make tacos, I make a half a pound of ground beef because that's enough for the three of us but I had uh, a whole pound frozen. So here's the leftovers and I'm going to use them in this makeover. And I'm literally just winging this. I have my salted boiling water and I'm going to add about half a pound of um, elbows or a little less than half a pound. I'm going to mix the ground beef with some of the Rowell's homemade marinara and add some Italian seasoning.
Whenever I don't use an entire package of pasta, I will repackage it and cut the instructions or boiling time off the box because um, I know I'm not gonna remember and I don't wanna have to Google it. So I'll keep it in whatever container I put it in. This is so cute. You can see one of my dogs in the reflection of the toaster oven. <laughs> I'm using the toaster oven because I don't want the house to get too hot. And I've just put the bread's out, it's done. I've just changed the oven to broil. And I just want to get a little more doneness on the cheese on the top. So I'm going to watch that for a couple minutes. And then, other than some salad on the side, this dinner will be done. That looks much better. Here's my leftover makeover casserole that we will have with some cucumbers and the French bread and some Parmesan cheese for anyone who wants to put that on top. Thanks again as I showed you my grocery haul and made dinner and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.